Hello students, today we are going to learn about Animate CC, the most popular software for animation. First, let us understand, what is Animate? Animate is a software package that allows users to create interactive animations. Using Animate, one can combine images, audio, video and other effects to create animations. Originally, it was designed to create animations for display on web pages. Animate is now commonly used to create games, cartoons, websites, photo galleries and much more. The animations and graphics created in Animate can be scaled to any size without compromising with clarity or quality. Students, please note the fact Adobe Animate is a multimedia authoring and computer animation program developed by Adobe Systems. Okay, let us learn how to start Animate. To start Animate, follow these steps. Click on the Start button, then go to Adobe Animate CC. The Adobe Animate CC welcome screen appears. The screen displays four panes. Open Recent Item. Create New. Introduction and Learn. All the common tasks like creating a new document, opening recently used files and using pre-built templates can be done using this screen. Under Create New section, select Action Script 3.0. A new blank file will open in Animate window. Ok, now we will discuss about the Animate Workspace. Menu Bar the menu bar contains controls of common functions and commands such as opening, editing and saving files etc. Students, let's know the fact. To save the file, click on the file then go to save. Specify the file name and click on the save button. The file will be saved with .fla extension. The stage this is the rectangular workspace area where we place our contents and create our drawings or movies. By default, the stage size in Animate is 550 into 400 pixels. Students, let us know more. In order to move the stage to different position on the screen, select the hand tool from the tools panel and drag the stage to the desired position. The Tools panel. It contains a set of tools to draw, paint, select and modify objects in the workspace. Students, let us know more. You can view the stage on the entire screen or view a particular area of your drawing at high magnification. To do so, select the Zoom tool from the Tools panel and click on the object. To switch between the Zoom In or Zoom Out option, use the Enlarge or Reduce modifiers displayed in the Options section. The Properties panel The Properties panel displays various properties of the selected object, text, symbol, image or shape. It is generally used for changing the settings like state size, ruler, unit, background color of the stage and frame rate. It is also named as Property Inspector. If the Properties panel is not visible, then we can select the window, then go to Properties option. Students, let's take a quick view. The Ctrl plus F3 shortcut key combination is used to enable the Properties panel. Students, let's know the fact. You can also change the various properties of the stage like stage size, background color, etc. by selecting the Modify, then go to Document option. Timeline The timeline is a window at the bottom of the stage. It is divided into frames. It is the area where one controls the sequencing and timings of graphics and the other elements of a movie. Alright, now let me tell you how to use the Tools panel. The Tools panel consists of many tools that help in drawing, coloring and modifying an object. With the help of the tools, we can create shapes like rectangle, circle, line or any other object. 
Most of the enemy tools work similar to the tools present in Microsoft Paint. Students, let us know more. You can also select the stroke color and fill color from the color section of the tools panel. OK, we will discuss about the drawing tools. Rectangle tool. This tool is used to create square and rectangular shapes. This tool has an option which can be set to draw a rounded rectangle. Select the rectangle tool. Select the stroke color, fill color, stroke size, style and scale from the property inspector. Hold and drag the mouse pointer on the stage. As the rectangular shape is created, release the left mouse button. To draw a rounded rectangle, specify corner radius under the rectangle option section in the properties panel. You can either specify the numeric value or use corner radius control slider to change the value for all the corners. Now click and draw a rectangle on the stage. You will get a rounded rectangle with the specified corner settings. Students, please note if the chain symbol placed left to the corner radius control slider is connected, you can lock the corner radius control to one control, that is by setting the radius in one box. You can set the same radius for all the corners. If you want to specify a different radius for each corner, unlock the chain symbol and enter a different numeric value in each box. Let me give you a tip now. You can also draw other shapes like oval, polystar, etc. on the stage by choosing the desired tool from the toolbox. After drawing the rounded rectangle shape, you cannot modify the radius. However, Animate CC provides you with rectangle primitive tool to solve this problem. Likewise, using the oval primitive tool, you can modify the start angle, end angle and inner radius. Polystar tool. This tool is used to draw polygons or stars. Select the polystar tool from the toolbox. In the Property Inspector, click on the Options button under the Tool Settings option. You will get the Tool Settings dialog box. Click on the drop-down list of the Style option and select the Star Style. Enter the value that ranges from 3 to 32 in the Number of Sides text box. For Start Point Size, enter the number between 0 and 1 to specify the depth of the star points. A number closer to zero creates deeper points. For drawing a polygon, you do not require to change these settings. Click on OK to close the Tool Settings dialog box. Click and drag the pointer on the stage to draw a star. Similarly, you can draw a polygon by selecting Polygon option in the Style text box. Now let's find out about the line tool. The line tool works exactly the same way as the line tool in any graphics software. We can use line tool to draw straight lines. Click on the line tool. In the property inspector, select the stroke color, line thickness, line style or width profile as needed. Move the pointer to the stage. Click and drag it in the direction where you want to draw a line. Release the mouse button. You will get a line on the stage. Let us now talk about curving. You can turn a straight line into a curve with the selection tool. After drawing a line, click on the selection tool. Make sure the line is not selected. Move the pointer on the line. When the pointer changes to arrow with curve symbol, click and drag the line to draw a curve. Release the mouse button when the curve is made. Let us now talk about the pen tool. Although the tool symbol looks like an ordinary pen, it works quite a bit different. This tool is used to draw precise paths in the form of straight lines or smooth flowing curves. You can also adjust the angle and the length of the straight segments 
and the slope of curved segments afterwards. Select the pen tool. Click on the stage to define the anchor point A. Click to create the second anchor point B at a distance. A. To complete an open path, double click the last point. B. To close the path, keep the pen tool over the first anchor point. A small circle appears next to the pen tip when it is placed correctly. Click to close the path. Animate automatically fills the path once it becomes a closed outline. Let's now talk about the pencil tool. It is a free hand drawing tool. You can draw free form lines and shapes in the same way as you would use a real pencil to draw any figure on the canvas. This tool has three different modifiers. Straighten, Smooth and Ink. A. Straighten. The default modifier is Straighten. It automatically straightens the line drawn by the pencil tool. B. Smooth. Select this option to draw smooth curved lines. C. Ink. This option helps to draw freehand lines with no modification. Select the pencil tool and choose the desired option. Select the stroke color, stroke height, thickness, style and width profile from the property inspector and draw the line. Students, let's take a quick view. While using pencil tool, press the shift key to draw straight horizontal or vertical line. Brush tool. It can be used just like a brush on a canvas. You can paint any shape with the desired color using the brush tool. You can specify the brush mode, brush size, and brush shape modifiers that appear at the bottom of the toolbox when you select the brush tool. Using the brush mode modifier, you can choose to specify different areas to be painted using the brush tool. The various options available with brush tool are as follows. Paint normal allows you to paint over lines and fills. Paint fills allows you to fill an empty area leaving lines unaffected. Paint behind allows you to paint blank area of the stage leaving lines and fills unaffected. Paint selection applies a new fill color only to the selected filled areas. Paint inside allows you to paint only the fill areas and never allows to paint outside the lines. Let us now talk about text tool. This tool is used to insert text on the stage. You can set various text attributes like font, family, style and size when text is inserted. Select the text tool. Change the font, family, style, size and color etc. from the properties panel. Move the mouse pointer on the stage and start typing. You can also create a fixed width text box for horizontal text. To do so, simply drag the text tool to draw a rectangular area. As you type, the words are wrapped according to the width of the text box. Let me share an interesting fact with you. Pointing and hovering the mouse over any tool will display the name of the tool. Alright, now let us discuss about the selection tools. The four important tools used for making selection in Animate are Selection Tool, Lasso Tool, Polygon Tool and Magic Wand. Selection Tool The selection tool is used to select a single or multiple objects on the stage. There are different ways to select different portions of an object. To select a stroke, fill, text block or group. Select the selection tool and click on the object. To select a fill shape and its stoked outline, double click the fill. You can also select the fill's shape 
and its outline by dragging to enclose the object within a rectangular selection mark you. Students let us know more. In order to animate the text or to add some special effects in it, you can break it apart into individual letters by clicking on the Modify Break Apart option or pressing Ctrl plus B key combination. Lasso Tool This is a freehand selection tool. We can use this tool to select irregular shaped areas of a drawing or a part of an object. This tool has three options. Click on the lasso tool. Move the pointer on the stage area. It changes to lasso shape. Click and drag the lasso tool around the object to specify the boundary of the selection. End the selection approximately from where you started. Release the mouse button and observe the selection. Drag the selected anchor point or anchor points to create the desired path. Polygon tool. This tool also helps to make freehand selections, but its contour is made up of straight segments. Click on the polygon tool. Move the pointer on the stage and click once near the object. Click at the position where you want the first straight segment to end. Keep clicking to set the next end points of the subsequent segments until you reach your selection. Close the selection by clicking near the starting point. Magic Wand Tool it is used to select the adjacent areas of a bitmap graphic that contains the same colors. Click on the magic wand tool. Click on any part of the image. All the adjacent areas of the pixels having the same color will be selected as shown in figure. Sub selection tool. This tool is used to select and move points of an object or edit paths between the adjacent points. Select the sub-selection tool and click on the line or shape outline. This reveals the points and paths that form the shape. When an anchor point is selected, it changes from a hollow dot to a solid dot. Drag the selected anchor point or anchor points to create the desired path. Transforming Objects In Animate, the Pen tool provides different variants that can be used to add new anchor points between existing points. Remove an anchor point or convert a curve point to a corner point. These options help in transforming one shape to another. Let us understand it with the help of an example. Select the Poly Star tool from the Tools panel and draw a star on the stage. Choose the pen tool and click on the star outline. It will display the various anchor points by which this shape has been formed. Click on the drop down arrow present at the lower right corner of the pen tool and select the add anchor point tool from the displayed list. A plus sign appears next to the pen tool. Click at the position where you want to add an anchor point. Now select the sub-selection tool and drag the different anchor points to modify the shape as shown in figure. You can convert a curve anchor point to a corner point with hard angles by selecting the Convert Anchor Point tool from the variants of the pen tool and clicking on the desired point. Whereas if you want to convert a corner point to a curved one, click and drag the point. Let me give you a tip now. The pen tool automatically turns into a modifier as we hover the mouse pointer over a path or an anchor point. To delete an anchor point, select the Delete Anchor Point tool and click on the point that you want to delete. The Coloring Tools Paint Bucket Tool 
The paint bucket tool is used to fill the enclosed areas of an object with colors in a single click. This tool is also used to fill the areas that are not completely closed. You can change the color of already painted areas with the help of this tool. It also provides modifiers that allow you to close gaps in shape outlines. To fill color in an object, follow these steps. Select the Paint Bucket tool. Click on the Fill Color button. The color palette appears. You can also select the Fill Color option from the Properties panel. Select any color of your choice. Click the drop down arrow of the gap size modifier and choose a gap option to close the gap in the shape. Click inside the object to fill it with color. Ink Bottle Tool It is used to change the stroke color, width and style of lines or shape outlines. Select the Ink Bottle Tool. Choose the stroke color, width and style of line or shape outline in the Properties panel. Click on the line of the drawn object to apply a different property to the stroke. Eraser Tool This tool helps you to erase unwanted lines and fills of an object from the stage. When you click on the Eraser Tool, it displays three modifiers. Eraser Mode Pocket and Eraser Shape Modifier. Select the Eraser tool. Click on the Eraser Mode Modifier and select the required eraser. Click and drag it on the object to erase. Students, please note to quickly delete everything from the stage. Just double click the Eraser tool. The different eraser mode modifiers are as follows. Erase normal. Erases all lines and fills of an object wherever the eraser tool is dragged over it. Erase fills. Erases only the filled areas of an object while outlines remain unaffected. Erase lines. Erases only strokes without affecting the files. Erase Selected Fills Helps in erasing fills of the selected part of an object without affecting the strokes. Erase Inside Erases only the area of fill part of an object without affecting the strokes. Students, let me share some interesting shortcut tips with you. The shortcut key of brush tool is B. The shortcut of selection tool is V. The shortcut for the pen tool is P. The shortcut of the oval tool is O. The shortcut for the line tool is N and for the rectangle tool is R. The shortcut key to preview the animation is Ctrl plus Enter. The shortcut for ink bottle tool is S and for paint bucket tool is K. Width tool this tool is used to decorate a stroke by adding multiple widths in it. The decorated stroke can be saved as width profile that can be applied to the other strokes. Draw a stroke using the line tool. Select the width tool from the tools panel. Drag and hover the mouse on the stroke. You will notice that the mouse pointer changes to sign. Now click on the width point you want to move and drag the mouse pointer to the outward or inward direction. Observe the change in stroke. Ok, now let's discuss how to use frame by frame technique to animate. Animations in Animate are created with the help of frames. Frames in Animate can be defined as the little rectangular cells which appear on the timeline. Frames are used to control and organize the content of your movie. Objects in the timeline are placed in order as you want them to appear in the movie. 
Keyframes are special types of frames where we can define change in the object for an animation like position, color, shape, etc. In frame by frame animation, we create the image in every frame. Let us add some artwork for the document. Draw a star. It is important to understand that each image drawn in Animate consists of a stroke, an outline and or a fill. Select any color choice from the stroke color. Select red color from the fill color box. Select the Polystar tool and draw a star as explained previously while describing the Polystar tool. Let me now share a fact with you. Eyedropper tool is used to copy fill and stroke attributes from an object and use them on another object. Animating an object Let us animate the star that you have drawn across the stage. Click on the keyframe dot in layer underscore 1. The animation will begin from this particular frame. Now select the second frame in the timeline. Click on the insert then timeline then keyframe. This will insert a keyframe in frame 2 with a copy of the star. Using the selection tool make a slight change in the position of the star towards the right side of the stage. Change its color to orange using the fill color option. Click the third frame of the timeline and press F6 to insert a keyframe in it. Shift the star slightly to the right side of the stage and change its color to sky blue. Click the fourth frame of the timeline and press F6 again. Shift the star towards right and change its color to yellow. Continue to insert keyframes by repeating the above mentioned steps till you reach the 10th frame. Preview the animation by clicking the control, then test movie, then in animate. Students, let us know more that you can also play your movie in a browser by clicking on the control, then go to test movie and then go to in browser. Ok students, let us take a recap of this chapter. Adobe Animate CC is a software package that allows users to create interactive animations. The stage is a rectangular workspace area where we place our contents, create drawings or movies. The timeline is a window at the bottom of the stage. It is divided into frames. It is the area where one controls the sequencing and timings of graphics and other elements of a movie. The tools panel consists of many tools that help in drawing, coloring and modifying an object. Selection tools are used to select a single or multiple objects on the stage. Pencil tool is a freehand drawing tool. Ink bottle tool is used to change the color, width or style of the strokes. Paint bucket tool is used to fill enclosed areas of an object with a single click. Eraser tool helps you to erase unwanted lines and fills of an object from the stage. Frames are the little rectangular cells which appear on the timeline and help in creating animations in Animate CC.